So many things have been happening last week, but there's also been Max and, of course, a new Illustrator version with new functionality. Now, with Illustrator, as you know, we get new features about three or four times a year. So a lot of things have already been happening and I have also made some videos about them that I'm going to link in the description. But there are five new features in the new version that I want to show you. The first one is about snapping. Now, when I'm going to roll over here, then you see a lot of these highlights by the smart guides and there might be too many of them. So you all know that. Now there's a new menu up here in the control panel where you can set all the snapping. So you do not need to go repeatedly into the view menu to turn them off one by one or on. You can do that in this menu here. And also you have access to the smart guides preferences in the illustrator preferences, which is where you can also limit the snapping. So you do not get as much of those highlighting as you used to have. So that is quite nice. But then also there are new snapping options. When I now draw a line on this circle, then you see here we've got the highlighting of the tangent. And now that we have this tangent, we can also draw a perpendicular line. And you see we've got a highlight of the perpendicular. That only works on straight lines. At least currently, I don't know what will happen to that. The next thing is the embedding of fonts. We all know that they are embedded, if possible, in the PDF part of the file. And I hope you all know how to use those when you need them and you only have a PDF. If not, I think I should make a video about that sometime. What we can now do is also embed them in the AI file. Now, this is a cloud file, as you can see by that cloud, but let's save that on the computer. And there you see we've got this option. We can embed permitted fonts for the preview. Of course, when you need to edit the text or the font or whatever, then you need the font installed. There's also, again, some new functionality around color. There has already been some this year, but there's again something new. So let's go here and let's just open the color panel. And you see this is an RGB file. So entering hex values actually makes a lot of sense. And we can enter short code. So I can enter a zero here and you see Illustrator enters the full number or you can enter three of them and Illustrator also makes that complete. So that's quite nice. And my web developing parsed self enjoys that. We also have something new in the gradients and there are new things. And there's also something that I'm going to mention at the end of this video. So the first thing is when you have something highlighted that already has a solid fill and you want to turn that into a gradient, then you can just click here and get that gradient. And you only need to edit that gradient stop, perhaps to make that a different color. Should you ever need to enter a black and white gradient, then just hold down Command or Control on Windows and click this here. Then we also have something that is up here. You see, there's the name of the artboard. I'm not great in naming my artboards, as you can see here but this might nudge me into actually doing that. Now, if you do not want to be nudged, then you can also turn that off. Let's go into the settings, into selection and anchor display. And there you can turn that off like this and it's gone. It won't be nudging you. Also for artboards, if you are in artboard mode, then when clicking the right mouse button, then you see we've got a context menu that has a lot of artboard related options in it. So now let's get back to those gradient options. I'm going to select this and you see we've got two different methods of creating a gradient. And for that, I'm going to undo this and undo that again. So let's give this another different kind of color here. And you see in between it's 
a little grayish. So you can change the method to maybe get a nicer looking color in between. And you can also turn on dithering in order to prevent bending if that is something that's bothering you. You have to be very careful with these two methods currently. I've made a video about that that I'm going to link in the description as well. These are my favorite features in the new Illustrator and I would be interested in what are your favorite features of this version. If you like to just leave me a comment, I'd be happy to know.